and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to full Classico reaction here on Saturday on the night. Barca have not been able to beat Real Madrid. It's ended up here at the Alfredo de Stefano Stadium. Real Madrid 2, Barcelona 1. And I'm honestly not sure right now how to react to this game. Obviously, in the first half, it was a shambles from Barca. It could have been more for Real. But in the second half, we got our goal back. And at the very final moment there, the final kick of the game, Ilash Moriba hitting the crossbar. We were so close, yet so far. And now... Is the title gone? We're discussing it all, the full match here. So let's get to it. Come on. Because in terms of the starting lineup here in El Clasico, it was pretty much as we expected from Ronald Koeman. And I was happy there, to be honest, with the lineup that he did choose. He did not rush back Gerard Pique. He played Ronald Araujo there in that three at the back system. Mingetha also making his Clasico debut. It was Antoine Griezmann on the bench as we went there with three midfielders. But I have to say, the one thing that I thought, especially there in the first 20 or so minutes of this game, what we saw, I feel, from Barca was a bit of an experience. We spoke about it in the build-up to the game. There's lots of young players in this team. And of course, I welcome that. I really, really do. But what we were doing, we were panicking. I think when we had the ball, we were giving it away so, so quickly. And not only giving it away, but in bad, bad areas. And what Real Madrid did right throughout the game, I don't think they played incredibly well. They didn't play expansive football. They didn't play any sort of possession game. All they were waiting for us was to make a mistake. Once we made that mistake, they were ruthless. Exactly the same as they were against Liverpool. They capitalised there on all of our errors in bad areas. They took us apart on the counter-attack. And in that first half, we simply could not live with that pace. Because it took Real just 14 minutes of the game to make the breakthrough and it was a really really poor goal from our point of view because actually our entire team there was taken apart by Valverde. It was a really really good run from him but from Barca's point of view there you've got to go and close him down. You've got to have players in midfield there who are able to protect our defence but instead it's Jordi Alba there who needs to go and take a risk. He commits himself he doesn't get the ball and then we're wide open. Vasquez there has got all all the time in the world to pick out the ball to Karim Benzema and you've got to say it is a wonderful wonderful finish he gets in front of Araujo he's still quite close to him though but he pulls off there a brilliant back heel Ter Stegen maybe could do a bit better I think he gets a hand to it there maybe a bit of a stronger hand he could have kept that one out but Real Madrid had the lead and at that point in the game it was starting to get worrying. And 14 minutes later, it did indeed get even worse. Real Madrid there kept on counter-attacking. They kept breaking away with Vinicius. We actually brought him down there. It was a free kick for Tony Kroos. And again, there's a bit of a slice of luck here for Madrid. Because as Kroos takes the free kick, he doesn't just take there a big deflection off Serginho Dest. It completely diverts there the direction of the ball. But then, on the line, is Jordi Alba. You think he's going to head it away. You think he's in the perfect position there to just go and head that ball clear but it goes in off his head and suddenly then Real Madrid had a two goal lead and I think at that point Barca again it was a bit panicky we were starting to think whoa this is not good this is not going well for us we kept getting cut wide open it could have been 3-0 to Real Madrid they had a brilliant chance there again it was Valverde down that right hand side hitting it across Ter Stegen he smacks the post and it's a good save as well from Ter Stegen on the rebound for that one but it's a really really strange game here to actually have analyze because even in that first half Barca they had their chances and I'm going to sound a bit like a stuck record here because right throughout the season when we haven't got the points and we haven't got the wins we often say but we did have chances because yes Messi got into some good areas he was finding his way inside the area a few balls across the box there Usman Dembele close to getting on the end of them I think a few times in the box there Dembele had opportunities but his touch continued to get away from him very very frustrating stuff and I think once again when you see these chances is passing us by when you see there the lack of a final threat it's just so so obvious to us right now in these big games we need a forward we need there a top quality out and out number nine who can win you games you cannot rely all the time on messy 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 to get the goal he nearly did of course he hit the post from a corner kick brilliant effort that was there he'd beaten Courtois it looked to be going in but I think that just sums up our day it was so close yet so far and heading into half time 2-0, Real 
Real Madrid. Now I think Koeman did indeed try to change things. He did not hang around at halftime. Antoine Griezmann came on. Serginho Des went off. And once again, we did have those chances. Very, very early on, Griezmann starting to get involved. The young plays it in behind. He has a brilliant chance in front of goal. He puts it wide and he is eventually flagged offside. But you could see there the kind of effort that we were going to have to try and do to break through this Real Madrid defence. And on 60 minutes, we did get our award. Finally there, a reward for what we were doing with the ball. It wasn't always perfect at times, but down the left-hand side there, Jordi Alba and Messi linking up. Griezmann is the man there at the near post. He does really, really well because he actually jumps up here, lets the ball go through his legs. Brilliant little dummy. And who's in the box? But it's Mingetha. And look what can happen there. Even something like Mingetha, when you get into the areas, when you actually take up the right positions in front of goal, we can score. We can score goals. It wasn't a brilliant goal, but it was what we needed at that point in the game. But it wasn't enough. We did not do enough there in that final third in that final moment we lacked cutting edge and we lacked again that natural forward who can win you a game? And I do think, to be perfectly honest, that in that second half, the rain was pouring down. It really was torrential there for much of that half in Madrid. I'm not really sure it's because of that, or just in general, but I just thought today it was quite an exciting Clasico in terms of chances, but the quality of the play, I don't think it was there. I think we were watching today two fairly average teams. That's the way that I would put it. Yes, Real Madrid were very, very ruthless in their counter-attacking plan, but did they play brilliantly with the outstanding? I thought Vinicius had a really Really, really poor game in terms of his end product and I just don't think today Barca got going in that final third. Yes, we had a lot of the ball, we had chances and especially there in those final 10 minutes when the game there, when time was running out, we did really start to pile the pressure on. There was a good chance for Jordi Alba, Odria Zola, who came on there as an injury sub for Real Madrid, actually gets in behind him. Alba there with a brilliant chance. He's one-on-one -on -one with Thibaut Courtois but again, for somebody who's been so good, for somebody there who has been making the right decisions in front of goal. He has been scoring this season. When it really matters most, it gets away from us. Alba doesn't shoot. He doesn't pass. I don't really know what that finish was. It didn't find anybody. And yes, there's a penalty appeal. Braithwaite goes down. Mondi is once again. There was an appeal as well in the first half there for a potential foul on Dembele against Real Madrid. I'm not really expecting to get those decisions. I didn't really want to have to rely on those decisions to get us the win. And of course, at the death, it really hurts. It really, really does hurt. Because Ilash Mariba came on as a sub there. I thought he did much, much more than Sergio Roberto was playing in a very similar area of the field. Roberto didn't really have an impact. But Ilash, he was so close to scoring. He had a shot there just a few minutes before time. And then the very last kick of the game. Barca go route one. Messi there with a long ball into the area. Longley knocks it down. It's on the volley. It is a wonderful hit. Ilash almost scoring the winner, but he's denied. And that right now seems to be our kind of luck, our kind of rub of the green in the big games. It doesn't seem to happen for us. My hope is, is that these kind of games, PSG, first classic of the season, each and every game now, all of these players, especially the young ones, they should be gaining experience. They should be understanding this fixture more and more and more because we have to improve. We have to get better. I do believe that we can get better. But today, once again, we did not make it count. Real Madrid are the winners. And like I said there in the intro, given when you look at the league table, now we've gone from fighting with Atletico, with it all in our own hands, suddenly now we are in third place in the league. We're once again looking at everybody else, wondering what they're going to do. It's unlikely from here that we win La Liga. And for me... That's a massive shame. So please, guys, do leave your thoughts in the comments down below. This, for me personally, was not the way that I wanted El Clasico to go. This is not the kind of game that I want to be expressing and enjoying with you guys. But look, at the end of the day, this is where we are right now. We know that we're a team who do need improvements. Looking at the summer now, I think Juan Laporta, he was inside the stadium today. He'll look at that team and think, right, we need to strengthen certain areas. No question about that. You can't hide from that now. We need to do that this summer. And now it is even more clear than it already was. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Where did Barca fall apart today when it really mattered? Or were we unlucky against Real Madrid? I will see you soon, guys, with more reaction coming up. I'm really sad and I'm really gutted that it didn't work out. But we'll keep going until we cannot do it anymore.
But until next time, thank you indeed for watching and for your support. But until next time, as always, Vishka El Prasa. Oh, <laughs>